Before we get started, I just want to say that this video almost definitely will have some errors in it. The code probably won't work, but I thought this would be an interesting experiment. I tried to completely outsource my job by generating a prompt for ChatGPT using GPT-4. I then went in and edited the uh, HTML on the page to get rid of all of the uh, prompts that I put in, as well as the prompts to continue and the uh, text that tells it what language it's using just to make it a bit more cohesive. I then opened up ChatGPT in Edge, which has a button that allows you to do on-screen narration. Uh, and then I just let it narrate the entire tutorial that it created for us. So uh, again, uh, there's probably going to be some errors here. Apologies if this doesn't work, but here is a tutorial entirely by ChatGPT uh, on how to create a phaser game engine inside of Rails setup uh, using GPT-4 for the <laughs> knowledge base, I guess. <laughs> Enjoy. Integrating Phaser Game Engine with Ruby on Rails 7th application. In this tutorial, we'll guide you through the process of integrating the Phaser Game Engine into a Ruby on Rails 7 application using Stimulus and its build. We'll create a simple game to demonstrate how to set up and use Phaser within your Rails app. Prerequisites Basic understanding of Ruby on Rails Familiarity with JavaScript and Phaser Game Engine Step 1. Create a new Rails project with this build and bootstrap. Open your terminal and run the following command to create a new Rails project with this build and bootstrap. Rails new video underscore game js build c bootstrap. This command will create a new Rails project named video underscore game with this build as the JavaScript bundler and bootstrap for styling. Step 2. Navigate to the new Rails project directory. CD video underscore game. Step 3. Add Phaser and Stimulus to your project. Install Phaser and Stimulus using Yarn. Yarn add Phaser Stimulus. Step 4. Generate a Stimulus controller for Phaser. Run the following command to create a Stimulus controller for Phaser. Rails G Stimulus Phaser. This command will generate a new stimulus controller file named phaser underscore controller dot js inside the app slash javascript slash controllers directory. Step 5. Import phaser in the stimulus controller. Open app slash javascript slash controllers slash phaser underscore controller dot js and import phaser at the top of the file. Import phaser from phaser, import, controller, from stimulus, export default class extends controller, forward slash forward slash. Step 6. Create a simple phaser game. Inside the phaser controller, create a simple phaser game using the connect and disconnect lifecycle methods provided by stimulus. Replace the contents of phaser underscore controller dot js with the following code. Import phaser from phaser, import, controller, from stimulus, export default class extends controller, static targets equals, game, connect, this dot create game, disconnect, this dot game dot destroy, true, create game, const config equals, type, phaser dot auto, width, 800, height, 600, parent, this dot game target, scene, preload, this dot preload, create, this dot create, update this dot update this dot game equals new phaser game config preload forward slash forward slash preload game assets here create forward slash forward slash create game objects here update forward slash forward slash update game logic here step 7 create a view for the phaser game create a new controller and view for the game run the following command in the terminal Rails G controller games show. This will generate a new controller named games controller and a show view file. Step 8. Add the phaser game container in the view. Open the app slash views slash games slash show dot html dot herb file and add the following code. div data controller equals phaser div data phaser target equals game slash div slash div. Step 9. Update the application layout. 
add the following line inside the head tag of app slash views slash layout slash application dot html dot herb to load stimulus. Percent equals JavaScript underscore packs underscore with underscore chunks underscore tag application, data turbo track, reload percent. Step 10, update the root for the game. Open config slash roots dot rb and update the root. For the game. Rails dot application dot roots dot draw do get game slash show, to, games hashtag show, as, game hashtag end. Step 11. Add a link to the game in the application layout. Open app slash views slash layout slash application dot html dot herb and add a link to the game view. Percent equals link underscore to play game, game underscore path percent. Step 12. Run the Rails server. Start your Rails server by running the following command. Rails server. Step 13. Access the game in your browser. Navigate to http forward slash forward slash localhost 3000 slash games slash show in your web browser to see your phaser game container. You can now start building your game using the phaser game engine within the Ruby on Rails 7 application. Conclusion In this tutorial, you've learned how to integrate the phaser game engine with a Ruby on Rails 7 application using Stimulus and its build. This setup allows you to create and manage your phaser games within a Rails application. You can now build and customize your games, leveraging the power of both Rails and phaser. Happy game development. Regenerate response. Okay, so real quick, we're just going to step through whatever it just told us to do, and we'll see how far we get and see if this actually works. I'm going to start by adding the uh, phaser uh, stimulus stuff here. And then we're going to do a yarn add for phaser. I'm going to leave off stimulus because that's already in here. Uh, we're then going to come down here and we will grab the uh, stuff we need here for the stimulus controller, which is inside of app, JavaScript controllers, phaser controller. Uh, we will do, I guess, this. We'll do a control A. Then we need to do a control Z to grab the actual import for the stimulus. We're going to give it a pass on that one. Uh, and then we're going to we're going to come down here and we're going to uh, i guess copy all of this unfortunately i did remove all of the uh, stuff for copying because i wanted it to be more readable we'll then go ahead and generate our games controller and then inside of app views games show.html.erb so uh, app views games show.html.erb we'll go ahead and we'll paste this in i guess uh, update the application layout i don't think we need this Right, because that's just uh, with with chunks, maybe? I don't know. Let's come into app, views, layouts, application. Should probably make sure we're doing this entire thing. Uh, add the following inside the head uh, to load stimulus. That's not necessary, so we'll just leave that off. Uh, we'll then come down here to config and routes. So we'll go into routes and we'll say get the games show as game. And we'll get rid of this one. Uh, we can then do a link to play game inside of app views layouts application. So we'll come into application, put this above everything else. Oops, put this above everything else like this, paste it in, make sure we save our phaser controller. And now it tells us to run this with Rails S, but we do need to use bin slash dev. That's on me. I didn't give it the proper instructions here when I created the prompt. So we do have to come into our gem file, add in the gem for foreman in my case with a github link and then we'll go ahead and do a bundle install to install that real quick and then we can go ahead and run a bin slash dev again that's that's on me it wasn't the proper prompt we'll go ahead and we'll run this come over to uh, localhost port 3000 and i guess we have to go to slash game is that what it was oh there's the game slash show uh, and we have a black screen here. Let's hit Control Shift I to open up our console. Uh, and it says phaser is loaded. So aside from the errors that I had, it looks like this worked, which is shocking to me. Uh, so I guess it's on me for not giving it a better prompt. And if you're curious what the prompt was, I can move this over real quick. This was the prompt. I told it to write a tutorial for the phaser game engine inside of Ruby on Rails 7. I told it how to use the uh, stimulus generation command. I forgot to tell it you don't need to include stimulus uh, in the yarn command. And then I told it to use the Rails new 
video dash J E S build dash C bootstrap to create a new rails app because it, it doesn't have uh, stuff after like September, 2021. Uh, so it doesn't know about some of these commands yet. Uh, and then ideally after this, I would have said, Hey, by the way, I'm running Ruby 3.2. So manually installed the form and gem from the GitHub source and also, uh, you know, run the server with bin slash dev that's on me. Uh, but I wanted to sort of just give this the first raw try that I, that I had in me. Uh, and I think it came out pretty well, all things considered, uh, if you're interested, you just open up edge, you, uh, you know, visit a page, you scroll up to the top, you click on the little, uh, a with the sound coming off of it to open up the read aloud, then you, it'll start narrating, come over here to change the voice options. You can change the speed and you can go through like a whole host of different options for different voices. But yeah, hopefully you found this interesting. Uh, I certainly did. I doubt you found this helpful unless you needed a phaser tutorial and this was the only one you could find, in which case my condolences. Uh, you now have a black screen though, so that's pretty cool. Uh, and hopefully I will see you in the next video.